Welcome dear learners, welcome to Ashvi management classes. Dear learners, in the last session we are done with the introduction part and how to craft or how to state your objectives. Now let us proceed towards studying or understanding chapter number 2, the review of literature. Now before we start understanding how to write review of literature, let us first understand what do you mean by review of literature and how it helps you. See literature is the reports which have been already documented on particular problem or your uh, whatever the problem you are studying by many uh, researchers uh, or uh, many people have already have been studied might have been studied this problem and might have come up with the reports and it is freely available in the web. So you need to review all those documents all those reports to get a brief or in-depth understanding of the problem so that you can offer a better solution which solves the current problems. So how it is done, how to review this? See you can make use of the Google scholar, you can just type your uh, problem area as it is and you can find a number of uh, documents or reports coming up there. So try to read each of the document which is relevant to your problem. Try to understand the methodology they have followed, the tools they have used and how they have given the process in which uh, they have come, came to a come to the conclusion and offered a solution which could which can, which have solved the problem. So this helps you in sharpening your knowledge about your problem and it will give you it acts as a good guide to carry on or to further carry on your project. So and after going through each of these uh, reports which have already been documented and which are available in the web you need to document their abstracts with whatever the reports you are studying you need to document at least 20 abstracts uh, uh, with their citations in your chapter 2 that is what we call it as a review of literature suppose for example if i want if if the problem of mine uh, is something related to mutual funds so I just type or uh, if so let us assume that uh, my title is performance analysis of uh, mutual funds. So mutual fund schemes, so performance analysis of uh, mutual fund schemes of select companies. This is my title. So in order to get better understanding about this uh, concept and to gain better knowledge to carry further carry out my project I need to review my literature. So simply what I do just I will go to the Google scholar and I will try to type performance analysis of mutual fund schemes select comp with, refer with reference to select uh, mutual fund companies. So it redirects and it will give me a list of studies which have already been conducted on this particular concept. What I will do is simply I will pick uh, each uh, one, one study step by step. I will try to study the abstract. I will try to study the manner in which uh, they have addressed the problem. 
and I try to write the, I try to take the abstract from there and paste it in the chapter number two by citing there, uh, by citing the author's name and the journal names and different things. Now this citation can be done easily with the help of Word document. There you can uh, you can give the citation. There is a citation uh, option there, and that will help you further when you are uh, drafting your bibliography page. So, at least 20 reports you need to review so that you can get a good knowledge or in-depth knowledge and it helps you in carrying out a successful project. So, this is all about chapter number 2 review of literature. I hope you have understood the concept of review of literature and how to write review of literature. If suppose you, you, you want any clarifications, you can make it on it by commenting in the comment box. That's all for today. Good day. Goodbye.